Hello everybody and welcome to Sunset Isle RV Park and Motel. That is where we are currently staying in charming Cedar Key, Florida. And speaking of charming, uh, this place could not be tr even more charming because check it out, just immediately when you drive in, you see this adorable hand-painted trailer that uh, I think they commissioned a local artist to paint it. On one side, you've got this really cute scene with these birds and then check it out. I'm gonna walk around to the other side to show you guys that they've actually drawn and painted a map of the resort itself look and as you can see on the map this place is on the water and there are beautiful waterfront sites and we actually have one of those so I'm gonna turn around a little bit here and show you guys the office area over here to the right used to be a restaurant it's closed down now and over here you see the I think four motel rooms that are available this is primarily an RV park definitely and up here is the office. The people who run this place are super sweet and cool and they're so helpful and we just absolutely loved uh, interacting with them and uh, they're just super cool. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm making a video. <laughs> Let me know where you put me. I will. We, uh, YouTube, it's called The Glamping Guys. That's our, that's our handle, that's our channel. Check it out guys, welcome home. And we do feel very much at home here. Um, you'll see the water in the distance over there. It's just so pretty here. They've got nice sights. Um, they're a little cramped, I, I'm not gonna lie. The sights are pretty narrow here for the most part. So uh, uh, if the park was crowded, um, we might have a little bit of difficulty finagling our way into in and out of some of these spaces. But thankfully, uh, because we can deal with the summer heat just barely, we tend to stay in Florida during the off season, which is during the summer because it's so hot, a lot of the snowbirds don't want to deal with it, but we're, we are scared. We live here. We know what to contend with when it comes to the Florida heat. Over here, you'll see the water getting closer and closer. Look at this. It's beautiful little sort of gulf area. Uh, Cedar Cruz is basically on the Gulf of Mexico. As you can see right here, this is sort of like a little inlet area. I forget what it's called, but there's all these beautiful little islands off the coast and you can get a canoe if you want to. You can have a canoe dropped off right at your spot. And I believe very close to our site is where the canoe launches. Here's one of the few folks that are staying actually in the RV resort right now. There are maybe one, I think one two, three, four, five, six. I think there's only six of us, maybe seven. Coming up here on the right, you will see the bathhouse. It's super cute. I mean, they did, did a really good job of, of keeping with the sort of eclectic, artsy style of Cedar Key. Very laid back, very, uh, very kind of boho. And uh, this bathhouse is a perfect example of the style that you will see all over the town. Now the bathhouse here, I'm, I'm gonna do one of my, my, one of my Todd's bathroom reviews because I do have some mixed feelings about the bathhouse. Even though it's super cute, um, it's unair conditioned. And as you can see, the good thing we have here is we have uh, individual stalls where there's a shower and a toilet and a, and a sink and everything all inside. And that's great, but the trouble is, because it's so small, it kind of acts as kind of a hot box. This is the weirdest thing, however. Check this out. I'm gonna to point to it right here. Look, there's a way that if someone's feeling mischievous, they can lock you inside the dang bathroom. So that was the first thing that I noticed around here. And I was like, um, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, the showers themselves are, uh, they're a little bit outdated. and. Really, these aren't the best bathrooms, but they, they work, they suffice. So I would give this a three out of five urinal cake review. Um, as you can see, they've got these really cute, brightly painted uh, picnic tables everywhere. And you know, kind of everything here could maybe use a, a fresh coat of paint, but you know, we understand because you know, it's the outdoors, the sea air eats away at paint and all sorts of stuff. And as you can see, I just cannot stop pointing the camera at this beautiful water. Just look at it. It's so wonderful to be able to back your RV right up onto the ocean or the Gulf or the inlet or whatever it is and just enjoy. As you can see, here we are. Here is our campsite, our glamp site, and we couldn't be happier about it. Check this out. Jason did an awesome job backing in because as you guys know, we prefer the pull through sites, but we just could not resist getting this beautiful glamp site right on the water. And here, we are. Woohoo! All right. Oh, actually, I just have to stand here and just stare. I, I find myself just staring. Okay, I've stared. We're moving on. <laughs> Continuing around to the rest of the park here, 
you'll see more and more empty sites. Coming up, there's a little shed area that's very colorfully painted as well. That's where a lot of the maintenance folks store their stuff. Uh, the park has Wi-Fi, but it's uh, not awesome Wi-Fi. It's good enough for doing like simple internet searches, but for instance, when we want to stream content, we are using our phones as hotspots and relying more on, on cell service than on the Wi-Fi here, because it's not super strong. But hey, free Wi-Fi is free Wi-Fi. We do appreciate that. And we're just making our way all the way around here. There's also really cool artwork kind of everywhere sort of nestled. In fact, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and I'm gonna walk back over this way to show you some of the really cool stuff that they've got. So for those of you who would like to sit and stare at the beautiful water, we've got this really awesome hanging swing chair bench thing right here that's pointed right at the water. Super cute and charming. Oh, there's another one of the really cute hand-painted signs that are everywhere. I'm gonna show you um, a cool little thing that's on our glamp site as well that we find equally cute and charming. So that's coming up. Here's this, another cute hand-painted sign. And we really like this right here. This sort of little like canoe as garden bed sort of arrangement here. Just a nice little charming touch. You know, unique, personable. We like that. We like to see places that have character that aren't just like, hey, park here, pay us. <laughs> Let me show you something real quick coming up here. Oh my God, I'm a face painted on a tree and I'm charming and slightly creepy because I don't know if you guys can see this by the way, but his eyes are kind of disturbingly bloodshot. <laughs> but it's kind of cute at the same time. But again, I like these like kind of quirky touches everywhere in the park. They really make you feel at home here and they put a smile on your face everywhere you turn. And yet another really super cool thing here. We've just got some, you know, some neat like lawn art or yard art or whatever you call it. They've just nailed it to a tree. Sounds like something that actually that we will do and we do do <laughs> back home. Now, over here is a little cottage where the owners live. Really super cute. And then right over here is the dump area where you've got your recycling cans and your dumpster. And we are pretty much just circling right back. You can see the sign in the distance over there. Love that sign. Also love across the street of the house on stilts. You see a lot of that in Cedar Key. Um, pretty much anything built after a certain year has to be built up on stilts because it's a low lying area. And you know, hurricanes happen here in Florida. This little cute, charming shed over here. I do not know exactly what it is, but it looks neat. Let me go investigate actually, let's see what it is. What are you? I still have no idea. <laughs> if anybody knows what that machinery is inside, uh, let me know. I, I, I really don't know exactly what it is. Over here, you'll see lots of wood. I've got a little fire pit area over there. They were burning a nice fire the other day. All right, as you can see here, we got firewood for sale. Very nice. Walking around this way by the by the bathhouse. You can see we got like a little fire pit area that I was talking about a little bit earlier. Definitely not ideal for this time of year, but when it gets a little bit cooler, my goodness, what a what a charming and lovely spot to sit around the fire and hang out. I like it how here, even when there's just a sign that says caution, they've managed to make it into like a cute little art piece. Check that out. <laughs> oh, and this is one of my favorite things right here. This little sign, which I don't know if you can read it, but I will, I will read to you what it says. Sing your song and sing it loud. Heck yeah. That's a great motto to live by and sing to. Anyway, guys, also over here um, by the bathhouse is the clubhouse, which we found to be locked but it looks like it's really cute inside. And um, I don't know what the deal is, if maybe you can rent it out, or I don't know exactly how that works, but anyway, it's very cute. Very colorfully painted on the outside, of course. And guys, that's about it. I gotta say, uh, we have really enjoyed staying here. It's such a cool place. It's just unique. 
and I like all the personal touches and I love our freaking glamp site. Here we come again. Look at that beautiful water view. You know, everything from the small detail of the kind of creepy cute face painted on our tree to the big picture of the literal big picture of this gorgeous water that we get to view every single day that we stay here. From the tiny to the big, I gotta say, this place really ticks all the boxes. So if you guys are ever going to Cedar Key, Florida, I think I would highly recommend you guys staying here at Sunset Isle. Oh, and did I mention that the coolest tiki bar in the world is like a two minute walk from here. Another big selling point. So anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you consider staying here. It's a really wonderful place. You will not regret visiting Cedar Key and you certainly will not regret staying in this wonderful RV resort either. Anyway, guys, have a glamptastic day and stay tuned. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you.